just showed up here to uh, Wissahickon, Wissahickon Valley Park. I'm going to be hiking the uh, Wissahickon Creek Gorge Loop today. A lot of cool stuff down here. I actually used to live in Germantown and uh, you know, this was right in my backyard and I've never done it so kind of stoked and uh, you know, we'll see how it, uh, how it goes. So we're hiking on the Yellow Trail, <laughs> already almost ate it, towards uh, Devil's Pool. You know, a couple of people uh, apparently like to cliff dive over there, or bridge dive or whatever, and apparently there's been a couple of fatalities there over the last couple of years, so let's check it out. I gotta tell you, it's hard to believe this is in Philadelphia. There's, you can't even hear street traffic. And, you know, it's like we're in the middle of some dense forest. Well, we are in the middle of some dense forest. It's pretty amazing. I will definitely be back here. I'm already impressed. The trail doesn't seem like it's that crazy or that demanding, which is nice considering I climbed the mountain yesterday and that kind of sucked. shame I mean this park's beautiful and you know beautiful rock formations waterfalls really nice cricket everything but there's trash everywhere there's people everywhere just hooting and hollering and you know it would certainly affect my decision making on whether I want to come back here it's just you know, people just aren't treating it with any respect whatsoever and it's it really sucks there you go this is uh, a little more like it a little more serene Still some people around, but nobody's acting like a complete fucking moron. This is one of the falls along the trail. I'm going to try some of these smaller trails and see if they're a little less crowded. And uh, check out some of the history around here. A lot of cool stuff in the Revolutionary War. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to it. Super cool. We made it to the Thomas Livesey house here. Let me see if I can get you a little more perspective. This house dates back to 1747 and it was used for a variety of things. It was used as an orchard, a vineyard, spring house, an ice house, a corn kiln, smoke house, a barn, copper shop, but uh, yeah. A lot of history here, and uh, just one of the many cool things you know along the trail here. This is Philadelphia. Huge rock faces, and it's unbelievable. This is you know, right in our backyard. It's like a oasis in the middle of the city. It'll work out too. Looks like we're uh, approaching the finger span bridge here. <clears throat> Let's see what this says here. <sighs> so, this was commissioned by Fairmount Park. I think still largest inner city park anywhere in the country. 
I know one of the largest in the world, so check this out. Cool. And you can see underneath. Very cool. Whew. Nice little grade at the end of it there. Somewhere, there's a cave system that I want to check out and not get killed in the process of doing it. And actually, it's getting kind of serene, so I might even do a little fishing. We'll see where the day takes us. I think I might have just found uh, where I'm going to have lunch. Alright, looks like we are approaching the Kitchens Lane Bridge, which means the Toleration Statue is nearby as well, which is one. So, there's some debate as to whether that's William Penn or to some dude in sweet uh, Quaker duds. One of the things for sure is uh, somebody lugged that monster out here right in the middle of the woods. Pretty cool though. Here's one of the uh, original houses from Germantown. This is where the Battle of Germantown took place during the Revolutionary War. Um, check the sign out in 1777, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go through the whole sign with you, but more or less. Um, George Washington uh, ordered a surprise attack on the German troops. And uh, make a long story short, they didn't fare too well. But all along here, there's really cool ruins, and and uh, you know, I'm gonna take a look at a few. 